Today I'm going to show you how to use WinPorn to pawn your iPod Touch. We'll be using a Windows XP computer for this guide. And the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to restore your iPod Touch to a fresh 1.1.4. This is not fresh, so I'm going to go do a restore now. So I just restored to a fresh 1.1.4 firmware version and everything looks fine so far and now we're going to head over to the computer and start the wind pond process so now we're at the computer and I'm gonna show you the screen and how the iPod reacts so once you've downloaded and installed WinPorn and you've done DLL you put the DLL file in where it's supposed to go we're gonna launch it we're gonna hit browse IPSW I'm already in the iPod software updates folder I'm gonna click 1.1.4 give that a second to load up And now what we're going to do is we're going to click on iPorner. And we're going to look at the status. Unzipping.ipsw2 folder. Okay, creating RAM just this might take a while. So we are going to come back in a little bit once this is done. Let's come back to this. Your iPod is set into recovery mode. And it looks like it actually hasn't done anything to my iPod yet. Which might be a problem. So I'm going to manually put it in restore mode. Okay, now it's sending RAM just to iPod. Looks like the pointing process has started. We're getting some feedback on the iPod. This is just the way my Mac did it as well. And it looks like we've rebooted. And we are successfully pointed our device. Now that that's done, we're going to want to go to IPSW Builder. And we're going to put in Installer. I picked some custom images personally. So these are the two that it will normally use. So for me, I'm going to click on Boot Logo. I'm going to go into my iPod Stuff folder. Click on booting one, and for my restore logo, I've picked Homer. So now that that's done, I'm going to click build.ipsw, and we're going to save that in my iPod stuff folder. I'm going to create a new one called Pointage Custom 
firmwares. Now we're going to hit save. Now this has been said to take quite a while, so we're going to come back when it's done. Note that once you pawn your device, that does not mean it is jailbroken. It means it is now ready for a custom firmware. It should restore. It, would, it should go to the same state you were at before you pawn the device. I want to take a second to go over some precautions that I made before I started using WinPawn. Now, I didn't close anything specially. I basically just closed out iTunes. I did not quit any processes and made sure WinPawn was the only thing open on the computer at the time running. Um, just to let it take all the horsepower that it needs. Um, don't touch the iPod while it is doing anything. It's probably not a smart idea not to touch the power button or the home po button during the pointing process. Um, the firmware patch is going slowly but steadily and we'll come back when it's done. Well, it looks like we are coming to an end in our video here. Um, we are up to finalizing image. This will take four minutes. So, so far, I had to restart because my computer fell asleep. So, we started the process at um, 7.51 and it is now 8.03. So, I'd say in about a good 10 minutes, the um, IPSW Builder will be done. Now, I'm not sure why this is so slow. Some say it is because of QEMU, or however you say it. It might just be a slow program. We'll come back when it's done. Once it's done, you will see a dialog box saying IPSW successfully created. Uh, once that's done, I'm going to go and restore now. Okay, I'm about to start the restore now. Extracting so far, and I'll come back when it's done. Swim. Okay, it's restoring. We're booting now, and it's almost done. Right, we're done, and the iPod is booting up now. And that's it. Your iPod is now successful.